Hello, my name's Adam Lear from Next Edition. Um, we're here to show you some remote production. So if you're a professional broadcaster or journalist, or if you're a publisher, uh, this is a really good way to make content in this current situation that we find ourselves in. I'm actually working from home. My colleague, Mr. Roger Pearson, is back in the office there. Hey, Roger. Hello, Adam, how are you? Now, we have a little studio in the office, and uh, in the studio, he's 35 kilometers away. And I'm going to create a sports program right in front of your eyes and control everything from here. And just to give you an idea of the distances involved, here is, uh, here's what's going on. So Roger is here just on the outskirts of Malmo. That's our offices there uh, next to Creative Technology. And if we come out of there, we will be moving over here where I am 35 kilometers away in the Swedish countryside in my little house here, right in the middle of nowhere, quite frankly. <laughs> very very beautiful uh, with, place. Yeah. It is a beautiful place, yes. yes. Uh, I've got a lot of green around me, as you can see. But we're 35 kilometers apart, and we're going to run this uh, completely fresh. So I'm going to create a brand new rundown, and I'm going to create everything in front of your eyes. Okay, so in order to get started, I guess we just uh, need to bring up the PC. Hey, Rog, let's do that. Okay, so here's next edition. Um, we've uh, got some uh, pre-made graphic template stuff here. This has all just come out of After Effects. There's some uh, alpha wipes and all sorts of stuff like that in there. There's also some media here. Uh, so we've got some sport media. We're going to do a little sports uh, uh, thing. We got, uh, we've searched all of these with uh, artificial intelligence. So the artificial has seen all, all of these um, uh, objects in these clips and uh, this football stadium for instance it knows it's an arena so if I was to search for arena because we have a very powerful flexible search if I search for arena in here I will actually get two of these clips that have uh, been discovered by the AI the, the metadata has actually put object detected what's in them so that's really useful in the search uh, but that's for another demo uh, right what I'm going to do is create a brand new script so there's three sort of areas in here. There's a bookmark panel, and there's a browser panel, and there's an asset area. And this asset area changes contextually depending on what you're doing. So in this case, I'm looking at a video. But what I might want to do is to, to build a script. So if I push the plus button, these are all the new things I can build in next. I'm going to create a blank script. And now it's just changed into my NRCS system. So here I can write a script. So we're going to call this the, uh, the sports introduction, right? Yeah, uh, sport report. I can't say sport report, Roger. <laughs> it's tongue wrestling, really. <laughs> report introduction. There we go. So sport report introduction. And now I'm going to type in the opening words that we want because this is the interface to the prompter. Okay? So everything I type here will go into the next edition prompter. Yes, we do have a prompter built in. I will show you that in a second. But uh, first, let's write in the words. So uh, uh, hello, welcome to sport report. My name is Roger. Person. And here are today's top three stories. Okay. So that's the story. Now I could write more, of course, I could write a gigantic story if I want. Uh, I'm just gonna split that in two. You can see we start to calculate the time here on the left. So it's 17 seconds in. Uh, and over here for the duration of the story, we don't have anything at all because this is an estimated time, but we don't have anything to soak up the time. That's because we haven't put any events in yet. So in next edition, an event is a thing like a camera or a video or a robotic queue or a lighting queue or a drone on the roof, anything like that. Um, and each event is then sequentially put into the, the script where it is expected to happen. So what I would want to do here really is probably put in a camera uh, for the automation to pick up. So I'm just going to push on the plus button click on the studio event, and this studio event appears, which has all my live sources in it, okay? So the cameras and the external sources and the overlay graphics and everything, there's, there's all, all the systems uh, inputs are here. So I'm gonna select camera two, which is the wide shot. Uh, and you can see immediately camera two soaks up the 17 seconds that are estimated here immediately. And our duration changes to 17 seconds. So we're on camera two for 17 seconds, and that's fine. Um, now. Maybe I want to put in a lower third here. So uh, what we would want to do is maybe say, okay, let's add an event here. So what we're doing is adding an event that will be triggered by the camera two event. So this is a trigger event, okay? So I go to my events here and I pick up a lower third. Just doing a little search just to find it quickly. 
drag, drop it over inside, and I've nested that event. And you see, I can see a preview of the graphic in an HTML CSS template, same template the graphics machine uses. So I'm going to switch this to be a trigger, not a queue. I'm going to click the shop box. That allows us to put it in the shop box. So we have a touch screen where you can manually turn this off if you want to. Uh, and then I'm just going to pop in here and change the name. So the name will be Roger. I have to be careful how I spell this, Roger. I think you should oh. put in an extra S, actually, so we can go back to that later on. Really? You want me to spend, spell your name With wrong? With three S. Wow. Yes, do okay. that. We'll come back to that. That's fun. So uh, I'll put in one second delay there. I type in 100 because it's uh, frames, so the zero, 00 is the frames. So uh, And then we'll put, be on for four seconds and zero, 00 frames. Uh, and it's link and start, link start and end start are the parent. That's fine. It will come on with camera two and it will go off after four seconds. So it belongs to, it's the parent is camera two. And I'll just call that uh, Roger's name. Right. Ooh. Missed off an end. Roger's name. Uh, we can actually, we can preview that graphic, how it looks there. That's great. Perfect. Fold that up. Okay. So now we've got camera two and Roger's name. Now, because this is the introduction, I'm not done yet. What I want to do also is maybe I want to put in a video wall as well. So another event that we can have is a video wall base event. And that will give me a video wall that will, will always be on the screen. OK, so like a default position for the video wall. So I just drag this event in. It's all pre-configured. So I'll just say uh, video wall base. Uh, and I'm going to make this a trigger. And I'm going to set its delay to 0 which means that as soon as this story starts, this video wall will come on screen. But I'm also going to make its link end the rundown, which means it's going to be persistent from this point onwards. It's going to go all the way to the end of the rundown on the screen. OK, but I'm not going to put any media in it right now. Uh, and uh, let's fold that up. And now one more thing I want to put in here. Uh, I'm going to use a special uh, uh, event we have called a jingle. And a jingle is in the downstream key all the time. The downstream key is always on. And the reason we're using this one is that our opening titles have an alpha wipe at the end that we want to alpha wipe into camera two automatically. So let's call this one the opening titles. There we go. All right. And then let's go back to our sport report search here. And now let's start populating this out. So uh, we've got a video wall base. So here's the video wall. We'll drop that in there. OK, and we can push play. It's actually, it's very subtle. So if I, I'll, I'll make it, that's what the video wall is going to do in a very subtle way there. OK, and also the opening titles, uh, they are here. OK, so let's push play on those. Just check those out. Yeah, perfect. That's great. So I'll fold these all up and just a little synopsis over it. Video wall base, that changes the video wall. Opening titles will play, camera two, Roger's name, OK? I'm just going to set the opening titles to automatic so that we fall automatically into camera two without any human intervention. So it's actually going to be one cue to do all of this to start the story. There's one more thing I want to do. I just want to put in a production note. I want to say, OK, top three stories. Top three stories next. Um, it's actually getting included in the count here. So it's getting added to our duration. And also, that will appear in the prompter. And I don't want that. So I'm just going to select it and turn it into a production note like that. And now it's gone back to 17 here. And this is just for me to know as a producer that we have to go to the top three stories next. OK. So we built all that. Now let's go to the biggest Russian doll of all, the gallery. So here in the gallery, this is currently where we are in the whole of the show. Um, so. What I'm going to do is, oh, there's somebody's introductions in there already, Roger. Mm -hmm. We should kill that. Huh? OK. So I'm, I'm live on air here. I'm actually live on air. Uh, and uh, I just took a story out. And we're going to put in Roger's introduction. Hold on. Roger's introduction. And we'll just put that in directly underneath. You'll see the green line immediately jumps to the first opening titles queue. So we basically put a whole new story in there. So I think what we'll do now, Rog, it will actually just play this and see what it looks like. Uh, and if you want to read off the prompter, the text that comes your way. Uh, Maybe you should show topic. just, Adam, show my... Um, oh, yes, yeah, so I can show the prompter. That's a good point. Yeah, and also my hand controller. Yeah, exactly. So, so Roger's got a hand controller there. And if he scrolls, you'll see that he can actually scroll the prompter up and down in here. And actually, in the prompter settings, I can uh, I can help him out a little because maybe he's, he wants the font size a bit smaller or bigger. What do you want, Roger? Oh, it's good enough, I think, that. 
Eh? Yeah? yeah. Okay. It's pretty cool that you do. <laughs> we do all that inside Nick. Yeah. Okay, so back to the player. And also, um, if you show me, uh, uh, so I can show the hand control as well. Um, yeah, you can do that. Hold mm -hmm. on. Where are you? You're in camera three. So this is what I'm going to queue. Um, I mean, uh, I can queue, for example, a presentation, etc. It's just in hand control. On the back, there's a, there's a trigger. So, and there's a, there's a uh, what do you call it, the ball in the middle that you can scroll with the prompter. So it's really easy to, so it's a one-man show, more or less, but you can use the system. Okay. So Roger can actually cue the rundown that you see here by pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. um, so let's uh, let's have a look at how this is going to work. So we're going to go into the opening titles. Don't forget, here's the video wall background. Here's the opening titles. And here is the name, Roger's name overlay. Those, those are the two triggers and the two cues are the opening titles and camera two. Now I've made one mistake because this white line means it's a manual cue and I want to fall out of the jingle into camera two automatically. So I'm just going to open the script, literally open the script inside the live rundown. And you see this is actually inside the live rundown. It's just popped open. Uh, and I'm going to set the opening titles to auto so that I have a black line and then close the script. You see I get a black line and now we're ready to go. So uh, perhaps Roger, you want to pull the trigger there and uh, start the opening titles. Okay, okay. Hello, welcome to Sport Report. My name is Roger Person, and here are today's top three stories. So, pretty simple, as you can see. It wasn't uh, a lot of effort to go to to, to make that happen. Um, so, what we need to do now is we need to try and uh, build this top three stories. So, in order to do that, I'm going to demonstrate some uh, other stuff inside next here. So, uh, let me bring up the PC again. One second. Okay, and uh, what I need to do is, uh, if we look at, for instance, uh, the sport report introduction that we did here, um, I could actually save this as a template. It's very simple. I just turn on Next Master here. Uh, it's just a preset tag. When I say Next Master, if I push the plus button here, you'll see that suddenly I've got a sport report introduction that I can spawn a new copy of. So it's built, I built a template just by turning that tag on. And if I turn the tag off, it will disappear from all my new things that I can create. So it's really easy to build a template inside Next. So I've actually built a template for the top three stories here. So I'm just going to open this up. And I'll just close that down. Uh, and you can see this is the top three news stories template. So we'll just take, uh, we'll take that away and we'll take the word new away. Okay. Uh, and... I'll just basically walk through this. We have a, a video wall overlay if required. So if I want to change the video wall, I can, but I don't. So I'll just get rid of that. Then it says bumper A. So let's go back to sport report here and we'll take, a, we'll take bumper one here and drop bumper one in. So this is the first thing we're going to play. Okay, so we're going to have a little bumper with an alpha wipe on it. This is in a jingle channel automatically. Then it's going to go into a story with a voiceover. Uh, I don't know what that story is yet, so let's just leave that one for now. Here it wants an audio bed, so let's pull the audio bed. So what will happen is this is a trigger, so it will play this audio automatically underneath. So that's fine. Uh, and then we have an info box. Now, I still don't know which story I'm going to use, so I can't fill the graphic in, but it's, it's there and it's ready. Okay. Uh, then we have a transition, so here's a transition. Let's push this in here and push play. Okay, so that's just a wishy thing with an alpha wipe. Into story B, this will loop. And uh, here's the story name. Again, I don't know which story I'm going to use. The, here's this place to put the voiceover text. Uh, then transition again. Uh, and then in story C, that's the third story. And then bumper B. So let's put in this, this bumper. Now, of course, now I've done this, I could actually save this as a template. And then all I have to do is fill in the stories. But uh, just for now, we'll just, just because it's fun, we'll leave it like that. Uh, let's go back to the gallery. We're back to the studio. Uh, and let's drop our top three stories in. I'm just going to drop it in underneath here so it's live, just so you can see. Uh, so we're going to step into the bumper. It's going to automatically go into story A and loop. Then transition on Q, story loop. Transition on Q, story C, loop. And then bumper out into the next uh, element, into the next story. So what I need to do is to actually populate that with what stories I'm going to use. So let's go back to the sport report here. 
uh, and let's say, okay, story A is going to be uh, this empty football stadium. So let's just drop that in there. And then we can go to the graphic box here and we can say, okay, uh, all football is cancelled. That breaks people's hearts, Roger. Mm -hmm. Being that will do. I, I won't put a description in because you'll get the idea. So you can see here now the the graphic says uh, all football is cancelled. Let's go to story B. Okay, so here's story B, and we could say okay. Let's open up the info box. Let's say okay. Um, Tour de France. Tour de France is on next year for that okay um and then the last story here story c let's put in the rugby and rugby world cup reports maybe something like that Okay, so we put those all in and there's B. Okay, so now if I close this up, you'll see these yellow dots have disappeared because we've actually put the, the story in there. Uh, I'm just gonna actually pick this up and move it underneath the opener here so that when we reload the story, we'll do that. So, uh, and uh, again, I shall reload and then Roger can queue and he'll go through all the three stories one after the other. Yeah, but, Stand but, by. but, yeah, but before you do that, Adam, mm -hmm. you have to do remember that you misspelled my name. Oh, that's true, I did. So let's fix that quickly. He's very precious about misspelling his name. Let's take that S out. Okay. Much better. All right. Sorry, Roger. Right. <laughs> it's on you. You hit when you're ready. Hello. Welcome to Sport Report. My name is Roger Person, and here are today's top three stories. Empty stadiums, when can we start over again? Tour de France, do we have to wait another year to watch it again? Rugby's on, but where is the crowd? And there we go. What do you think about that, Roger? That was good. You've got the <laughs> talent, mate. <laughs> well, it's amazing. I mean, uh, as uh, probably everyone can see, we, uh, we are not, I mean, especially me, not uh, very experienced in that area. I've more or less never done this before. And so it's so, so easy. And this is how it should be. Exactly. It's how it should be. So uh, you can see the power of Next Edition and, and there's so much more. We, we're taking demos right now. So we're doing remote demos uh, all the time. If you want to book one, please get in touch. Um, the details are around this post somewhere. Uh, we're happy to do demos uh, remotely and include you in the show, etc. because it's quite fun, our demos. Uh, thanks, Roger. That was great. And yeah, uh, everybody stay safe. We, uh, we hope you're all uh, okay. Take care.